This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Red Hawk basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Tonight's game, an independent matchup as the Wakona Warriors come down from the Berkshires to take on the Frontier Red Hawks. Hi again, everyone. This is Chris Collins along with Zach Lino, Alec Gecko, Josh Levine, Kevin Murphy, and Megan Self here at Courtside at Goodnew Gymnasium as this may be a preview of what we see in the postseason as the 7-1 Wakona Warriors come into South Deerfield Take on the seven and two Frontier Red Hawks, losers only to Palmer and West Springfield. Wakona's only loss has come to Mount Greylock, and Mount Greylock is a perennial playoff team coming out of the Berkshires. This is a good mid-season test for the Frontier Red Hawks. Are they for real? We're gonna find out, as this is a loaded Wakona team that comes in looking to take an independent win and take one more step toward what could be the final Western Mass sectional in history in MIAA high school basketball. It's gonna be a big night. Let's go down to the floor for the starting lineups. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Frontier Regional School for tonight's game. Our guests this evening are the Warriors from Wakona High School. The member high schools of the MIAA cordially welcome you to this game. The students participating in tonight's contest are representing their schools, their families, and themselves. Please encourage these student athletes with your personal display of support and good sportsmanship. Now, for tonight's starting lineups for Okona at guard, number five, Kevin Huban. At guard, number 11, Easton Eberwine. At center, number 55, Luke Hescock. At forward, number 12, Griffin Salvini. And at forward, number 23, Tom O'Connor. Wakona is coached by Dustin Belcher. Now for Frontier at guard, number one, Ethan Michon. At guard, number 11, Brett Robinson. At center, number 21, Owen Wachowicz. At forward, number four, Donovan Hoffman. And at forward, number 13, Peter Carey. Frontier is coached by Jeff Garczewski. The officials for tonight's game are Mark Ramoli, Dave Whitehead, and Claude Salmeo. Please rise for the national anthem. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webb's, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. 
across from the common in the center of South Deerfield. This is going to be an interesting test on a number of levels. First of all, when you come down from the Berkshires, these, these uh, Berkshire teams tend to play very physical, and the size difference in this game, this is by far the biggest lineup, Zach, that I think the Frontier Redhawks have seen this season. Every one of these kids is, is not as tall as Peter Carey, but pretty close to it, yeah. the entire, including their starting point guard, which is a, a, an unusual situation for Frontier. It'll be interesting to see how Frontier really uh, plays their matchups here. Again, the starting five for Frontier, the, the typical starting five, Michonne, Hoffman, Robinson, Carey, and Walkowitz, with Boudreau likely to come in off the bench. It's good to have Colin Boudreau back in the lineup. Again, he gives some size. Much needed here. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, every one of these kids, including the backcourt, is huge. <laughs> Peter Carey will jump center with Luke Hescock who is the pivot man for the Wakona Warriors. Eight-minute quarters. And again, this is an independent matchup. The game counts toward the regular season record, which counts toward postseason determination. Michon now with it as Frontier wins the tap. Moving right to left. Michon to Hoffman. Dehoff to Robinson in the middle. Three-pointer top of the key. Back iron no good. Rebound controlled by the Warriors. This is O'Connor on the right elbow as they whip it around. Top of the key, Hescock now to O'Connor. Back to Hescock on a high post. And they lose the ball temporarily, but they get it back. 12 to shoot. Cross-court pass, O'Connor now with it. Drives through, running one-hander is good. And he just found an open lane and drove right to the basket. 2-0, Wakona. Robinson now to Ethan Michon. Right side to Hoffman. Dehoff, top of the key to Carey, high post. A feed to Walkowitz, give and go to Carey off the glass, got fouled on the way up by O'Connor. So nice little give and go there, and Peter Carey will go to the line to shoot two. That was a bit of a different look. You don't often see that give and go with Owen, but it worked that time. Yeah, got him to the line. First shot by Carey is good. Tonight's game being brought to you in part by Holiday Pizza, the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Second shot upcoming by PC. That doesn't go. Rebound controlled by O'Connor. O'Connor runs it up the floor for Wakono. O'Connor hands it off to Sawicki. Now over to Huban. Huban to O'Connor on the right elbow. O'Connor brings it cross court. Runs it all the way to the left side. Hands it off. Descock working a weave. Cuban tries to drive through foul on the floor. Looks like Frontiers is trying to keep him out of the paint. First foul on the Red Hawks, and it's going to be the first foul on Peter Carey, his first. And the inbound it to Hescock. Great right over the top. There by Wakona. Lays it up and in. 4 1 Wakona. Deshaun now with it. Left side to Robinson. To Carey on the left elbow. Carey hands it off to Walkowitz. Owen, right side to Robinson. Robinson spots up for three, doesn't go. And Walkowitz gets the rebound on the baseline to Carey. Carey draws double coverage, draws the foul going up. That's going to probably be on Hescock. So they've got Carey very well scouted. Every time he touches the ball, yeah. there's two blue shirts on him. They have not posted who that foul was on. I'm pretty sure it's on Hescock, and it is. His first, team second. Carey's first shot is no good. He'll get one more. Free throws, I think, will become crucial during this game. Absolutely. And the way, I mean, you can already see Wakona playing a very physical game. There's going to be a lot of fouls in this game, I think. Second shot does it. He misses them both. Hescock the rebound. Over to O'Connor. O'Connor, obviously the quarterback on this uh, offense. He drives through, dishes it off on the baseline to Hescock through his hands. Nice and defense there. He was well covered by Carey. And we're going the other way. Inbound pass to Hoffman. A little bit of a three-quarter court press. They back off. Now Michonne to Carey. 
to Hoffman on the right side. Hoffman trying for the lob. Oh. Oh. Almost got it. Tried for the alley-oop play. Outlet pass to O'Connor. O'Connor knocked out of his hands, and it's going to stay with Wakona with 25 to shoot. Everwind inbound. And he throws it out to a three-point bomb on the outside by Hubank, a deep three. And suddenly it's six, a six, a seven-one run now for Wakona to start off this first quarter. Not looking good for Frontier here. Carry to Walkowitz. Walkowitz jumper just inside the arc. Spins out. One and out. And there comes Wakona. Huban again. Went up, got stripped on the way up by Robinson. So we're going to get some subs in here. Walkowitz coming in off the bench for Frontier. And also, arguably the best sixth man in the Hampshire League, Sean Richter. And he can play both sides very well, defense and offense. Walkowitz and Robinson sit down. Richter's got it now up ahead to Colin Boudreau to Hoffman. Hoffman at the circle. Right side to Richter. Richter pulls through. Back to Michonne. Michonne took a, took a walk. Thought about the shot. Took the extra yeah. step. So not a great start for no. the Frontier Red Hawks. They trail 7-1 with five minutes to go in the first quarter. Tommy O'Connor now with it over to Huban. They're working a weave again. O'Connor drives, stops. Trying to penetrate that paint. It's cross court. And blocked. Shot up is blocked by Salvini. We're going back the other way. Hoffman. To Mashan back out by the circle. Ethan, right side. Richter takes a three, spins out. Just off. Rebound controlled by Salvini. Up ahead. O'Connor now, deep three, top of the key. Good. Nails it. Starting to get away from Frontier a bit. 10 1, 421 to go. Frontier's got to regain tempo quick. Mashan now to Hoffman. Hoffman tries to drive through. Picks it back out to Michonne. Ethan to Richter. Richter took a travel. Mm -hmm. well, right now, the man-on-man -man defense by Wakona is just really stifling Frontier. They can't get anything going yeah. offensively, and Ben Barshevsky wants to talk about it. 4.04 to go in the first quarter. It's Wakona 10, Frontier 1. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Not a great start for the Frontier Red Hawks as they trail the Wakona Warriors 10 to one. And the Warriors are as advertised, not only are they big, but they're pretty fast. They move the ball very, very well. And they work that weave, which Frontier has not had much success defending. No. I think Fr if Frontier throws a maybe a different uh, defensive look, could help out a lot here. Hubon now with it. Hubon to Salvini, back in the middle. As they throw it around the outside. In the corner to Salvini. Salvini for three on the elbow. Rings out no good. Hescock, the rebound, got it right in the mouth. Picked it back up. O'Connor trying to spin on the baseline. Trying Swarmed to feed the baseline. Out of bounds. And it's going to be still Wakona ball. I thought it was off. Hmm. And coming into the game for Frontier is Ian Spirance. They throw it in. Hubon now with it to O'Connor. O'Connor to Hubon, top of the key. Hubon, left elbow, back to O'Connor. O'Connor, four to shoot. A deep three. He oh, hit it. Oh, what a shot there. Less than two seconds left on the shot clock. A deep NBA three. 12 point lead largest so far for Wakona. Spirits to Hoffman. Dehoff for three. Rims out. Rebound. The response is no good. Up ahead to Hubon. Hubon. And it's going to be off of Frontier. So Wakona will keep it. All Warriors in this first quarter. Yeah, Frontier's just getting crushed. 13 1. Everwind to throw in. Lobs it out. Stolen. And Ian gets it there. And Spirits, good anticipation there. Left side to Carey. Carey tries to run through. Running one-hander off the glass. Doesn't go. Rebound controlled by Wakona. 
Yeah, and Wakona's expecting them to go to carry down low, and they've stopped that. O'Connor kicks it back outside. Great passing by Wakona. Look at the ball movement. Shot up, no good. Carry the rebound. Right, look, wrong result there. Left side to Richter. Cross court to Spirits to Hoffman. Hoffman for three. Spins out again. Just a tough break there for Frontier. Did the right play, but couldn't get the bucket to fall for him. O'Connor. Back in the middle it goes. Hubon. Pull up jumper off the glass. Count it to one. Oh, boy. These guys are as good as their record yeah. indicates. Kona is here to play. 15-1 run to start this game. And Benny wants to talk about it again. I don't blame him one bit. Timeout on the floor will take the break. 2-12 to go in the first quarter. It's a blowout so far. Wakona 15, Frontier 1. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. It is a full week of action this week on Frontier Community Access Television. Tomorrow night, Frontier back in league action against Hopkins. And then we have the Frontier Girls this week against East Hampton. And we've got some hockey this week as well as the South Hadley Tigers come to town to take on the Greenfield Green Wave Saturday. That'll be a combined Bear Country FCAT simulcast as will the Hopkins game. Kevin Huben at the line. He's got eight points already. And make it nine. 16 to one. Richter with it now. Richter to Spirits. Bounce pass to Richter. Kick. Yep. That's going to be a reset. So they'll reset the 30 second shot clock. There's a kick ball there on Hubon. This game were being played in spring on the baseball diamond. It'd be over by now, I think. <laughs> Mercy rule, but a lot of basketball to play. Spirits with it. Spirits down low to Carey. Carey to Colin Boudreau. Feeds Carey in the paint. Carey. Swarmed through and did not get it to go. Carey battling for the board. Forward. Rebound O'Connor. Up ahead to Hubon. Hubon lays it up and in. They can do it all. Fast break. Yeah. Half court. Defend 18 to 1. Carey has the ball in the middle. Tried to feed Boudreau on the baseline. And a travel on O'Connor. That's mm. the first mistake I think I've seen Wakona make tonight. Yeah. That's all it takes is just a little bit of momentum change. Right now, Wakona is on pace to score 80 in this game, and Frontier is on space to score four the way, they're, the way it's going for them right now. Hoffman to throw it in to Spirits. Ian now with it, bounce past the Hoff. Hoffman to Boudreau in the paint. Boudreau on the baseline tries to feed Carey. Carey goes oh, flying wow. to the floor. And I don't think they call the foul. No. It went out of bounds off of the Warriors, so Frontier will keep it. Into Boudreau. Hoffman. And a three-point bomb. No good by Richter. One and out again. Yeah, and Frontiers try inside looks and outside looks. They just haven't been able to get much to go at all. Everwine now with it in the middle to Escock. To Hugh, uh, Huban running through. Oh, rejected there by Carey. Blocked on the way up. Wakona's going to keep it with 101 to go and 15 seconds on the shot clock. They throw it in to O'Connor on the left elbow. O'Connor, a hook shot in the lane, no good. Defended by Carey, rebound by Peter. Outlet to Spirance. Spirance to Hoffman. Dehoff pulls it back. Tries to feed Boudreaux. Stolen. That was just well anticipated by Salvini. 42 seconds left in a forgettable first quarter for the Frontier Redhawks. Eberwine now with it. Left side to O'Connor. O'Connor down to the baseline. Hescock trying to work on Carey. Rejected. Three-pointer from the corner. No good. Carey the rebound. Outlet to Hoffman. Shot clock is off. 22 seconds left. Dehoff. Picks it back to Carey. Carey up fakes. Picks it outside. Richter from the elbow. No good. Rebound. Boudreau goes back up and scores. There you go. And That's a what field Frontier goal. wants. At the only field goal of the quarter. Three seconds left. O'Connor turn around. Jay does not go. And that's how the quarter will end. We have played one quarter of basketball from Frontier. 
And the Wakona Warriors come in and are blowing out the Frontier Red Hawks. It's Wakona 18, Frontier 3. Second quarter action next on Frontier Community Access Television. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by... Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Back out here at Good No Gymnasium. Well, the Wakona Warriors, every bit as good as advertised. They lead the Frontier Red Hawks 18 to 3. And Griffin Salvini will throw it in right in front of us to O'Connor. Frontier's got to get something going offensively in this quarter. Cuban drives through. Rejected. That's three blocks by Peter Carey. Up head to Boudreaux. Boudreaux got fouled hard. Up. That was Hescock that got him on the way up. Peter Carey has forage blocks so far. That is, I would say, the lone bright spot right now for Frontier. Colin Boudreaux. There's two fouls on Hescock. We'll see how long he stays in. Boudreaux's first shot is no good. He'll get one more. If you're not going to shoot from the field well, you've got to yeah. make your throws. Second shot. That goes. Escock is going to come off. And they're going to bring in Nick Astore for Wakona. Wakona walking the ball up the floor. A little bit of momentum change here. Salvini driving left side. Pulls back. Good draw. Good draw all over him. O'Connor now. This is what Frontier needs to do. Yeah. Tight man to man. Three-point bomb. Back iron no good. That was by Bernardo who just checked into the game. Up ahead. Kick back to Robinson. Good ball movement. Michon for three. On iron no good. Rebound comes out to Hubon. Hubon. Four. Oh. Peter Carey now with the outlet pass. Fast break. And they got a foul behind the play. So Peter Carey making his presence known yeah. defensively. Defensive stalwart here. Five rejections. It's going to be Frontier's ball under the Wakona basket. Fresh 30. Mashawn now to throw it in. For Frontier. <laughs> For someone to get it to, throws it back out to Richter. To Robinson. Robinson back to Richter. Richter kicks it out to Mashawn. Mashawn down low to Boudreaux. Boudreaux to Carey breaking. Oh! Missed the bunny. Put back. Yes! Yes! One. Peter Carey brings some life. So Pete Carey came back after missing the first one, got his own rebound, drew the foul. He will go to the line. So this is exactly what Frontier needs to have happen. And that's a quick two fouls on Nick Astori. First shot is good. The three-pointer, rather, to play is good. Salvini now. Hubon now with it. Hubon drives through the lane. And he traveled. Travel. Went for the pump fake, but took the extra step. So the lead is cut back to 11. And now Wakona wants to talk it over as the wheels are maybe coming off the wagon in warrior time. 6.44 to go in the half. It's Wakona 18, Frontier 7. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Chris Collins and Zach Lino here at Goodnote Gymnasium. Good one tonight. Frontier was getting blown out in that first quarter. Some signs of life, a 4-0 run to start this second quarter. Robinson to throw it in. And Ethan Michon will bring it up. So far the story for Frontier has been Peter Carey defensively. Five blocks and a couple of big plays on the front end. Colin Boudreaux's given him some good minutes as well. 
Deshaun now gets the ball on the right elbow. Drives through, his little scoop shot on the baseline. Oh, it touched every bit of the rim. Just not falling for him. And they lose control. Does Richter, and now a foul, I think, on Boudreaux. Yeah, he just reached in there. So that's non-shooting. First on Boudreaux, third on the team. O'Connor now brings it up for the Warriors. Goes left side to Salvini. Salvini with it. It's a screen. Yeah, it's an illegal screen. And that's three fouls on a story if that's on him. So he's going to have is. to come off. Yeah, and some quick foul trouble. And Everwine's back in. Mashawn now gets the inbound pass. Right side. Oh, kick. That's going to be a reset. Looks like Wakona's kind of backed off that three-court press that they're doing earlier. They, they absolutely have. Mashawn gets the inbound pass, cross court. To Richter. Richter. To Mashawn. Deflected through. Boudreaux feeds. Oh. And a foul on the floor as Carey got hit underneath the basket. Well, some nice ball movement there by Frontier. So they're going to say Carey was hit while in the act of shooting. All right, we'll give it away for two. So Carey with a couple of foul shots here. And the first one does not go. Actually, it was a one and one because we're in yeah. the bonus already. O'Connor, pull up jumper. Rejected. Six blocks for Carey. Out of bounds. Still Frontier basketball. Inbound pass goes to Michon, 18-7. Frontier trailing by 11. They can get it to single digits with a bank here. Mashon down low to Carey. Carey feeds Boudreaux. Boudreaux off the glass. Yes. And Colin Boudreaux's got five points. And, and Frontier's awakened. It's a nine-point lead. Salvini now with it. Again, they're working that weave. Salvini left side to Huban. Huban being guarded by Mashon. And again, there's the pass off the weave. Layup no good by Bernardo. And they're going to get a foul while he was shooting. And that foul is going to be on Brett Robinson, his first team's fourth. It's two shots for Zach Bernardo. A senior-laden Wakona team, only three juniors, the rest all seniors. Experience in Michonne out. Robinson out. And... Donovan Hoffman in. So the Hawks are scrapping. They're hanging yeah. in. And they've held Wakona to no points. That's the first point of the second quarter. They're doing what they need to do to come back. Experience now. Left side to Dehoff. Hoffman to Boudreaux. Boudreaux tried to feed the baseline. Blocked and broken away by O'Connor. O'Connor goes up strong. Count it in one. Woo. And some of these Wilcona can, players can just, they can ball out. Well, that, that kid O'Connor is, he is definitely a basketball player. You can just tell. Great basketball intelligence. Got the height, got the speed. Yeah. Foul is going to be um, Donovan Hoffman, his first. Team's fifth. And O'Connor misses the three-point play. Hoffman with it now. To Richter. Richter. Hoffman now with it. To Walkowitz. Walkowitz kicked back out to Richter. Richter spots up for three. Good. Nice shot there by Sean Richter. 21-12. Wakona with the lead. Still. Huban. I'm going to say he got Foul. fouled. I thought he traveled. Yeah. Sure looked like a travel to me. Non-shooting foul. That's two quick ones on Spirits. Huban throws it out deep to Salvini. In the corner to Huban. Back to Salvini. Cross court. Back in the middle it goes. Frontier playing some nice man to man defense. Salvini to Eberwine. Back out to O'Connor for three. No good. Well defended. Rebound Richter to Hoffman. Dehoff with it. Cross court to Richter. Richter in the corner. Spirit slips, 
Kick ball. And kick and a reset. That's a good break because otherwise that would have been in the yeah. backcourt, potential backcourt violation, but it wasn't. That's like three kicks by Wakona in this game. Spearance throw it in. Goes out deep to Hoffman. Hoffman to Carey in a high post. Carey draws. Oh, my God. Oh, he's getting just absolutely abused. I was going to say. And the foul is going to be on O'Connor, I think, this time. And it's going to be a one and one. It's two fouls on O'Connor. That bear's watching. He is absolutely the best player on the floor for both teams. Yeah. Into the game is Gabe Davis. And also coming back in for Wakona is Zach Bernardo. Well, he'll have to wait. And a couple of subs coming in for Frontier as well. Crucial free throws. Peter Carey at the line. First one does not go. O'Connor the rebound. Less than four minutes to go in the half. O'Connor picks it right side. In the middle of Hubon, turnaround jumper, good. That kid can flat out shoot. I mean, that was a well defended shot. 23 12. Looking to feed carry on the baseline. Held ball, possession arrow favors Frontier. I mean, every time they give it to Peter Carey, four or five guys jump on him. Well, they, they know. I mean, he if they can contain him, and we learned this from the Palmer game, if Carey can be contained or knocked off his game, it's tough for Frontier because they look yeah. to him with that great height and that great awareness on the baseline. As you can see, they've been trying to feed the baseline all night, and Wakona's had him shut down pretty well. First shot is good by Peter Carey. He'll get one more. That cuts the lead to 10, 23-13. He can make it a nine-point lead with a make here. He does. 3.33 to go in the half. Eberwine now with it. Goes right side to Mendez just into the game. Back in the middle of Bernardo. And they're working that weave. Hubon tries to spin through. Travel. Travel. And that was Owen Walkowitz <laughs> all the way that made that play. Well defended. Some great frontier defense here. So the Hawks clawing their way back. Jake Kaneski now just into the game for the Hawks. Left side to Mashan. Mashan to Walkowitz. In the corner to Hoffman. Fakes the three. Drives the baseline. This is to Carey. Carey tries to A lot of contact. Hit hard on the way up. Carey goes back to the line. So the foul is racking up right now. That one is going to be on Gabe Davis, his first. That's the 10th team foul, so we're into the double bonus. It'll be two shots the rest of the way. First shot by Carey is good. That cuts the lead back to eight. This is where Frontier's depth is going to be very helpful. Yeah. Your bench depth. Second shot. That does not go. Rebound. Fouled. And Hoffman got fouled. Good job by Donovan to go in strong. And that may very well be on Davis again. You have to post it. Yep, it is. Two, two fouls, quick ones on him. Wakona's starting to get in a lot of foul trouble here. Dehoff's first one does not go. He'll get one more. Second shot by Hoffman. That goes. One of two. 23-16. The lead is now seven for Wakona. It was as much as 16. The Warriors working that weave again. Right side to Davis. Davis on the right side into Hubon. Hubon now tries to spin through. And one. And they count it one. What a play by Hubon. Oh, man. He is lighting it up tonight. A couple of quick changes. Subs in. That foul is going to be on Owen Walkowitz, his first, team seventh. Kevin Hubon, one of the senior captains on this team. And he makes the three-point play. He's got 16 so far. Yep, that's about what I got. Maneski bringing it up. Leads back up to 10, 26-16. Hoffman now. Back to Haneski, over to Michon. Michon goes cross court to Hoffman. Got to be careful. In the middle of Walkowitz, back to Hoffman. Dehoff for three. Good! Yes! 
To the frontier. Don't poke the bear. Back to seven, the lead for Wakona. They're working the weave again, a little misdirection, a little mishandling of the ball. Left side it goes. And travel. Travel. It's a little bit of confusion. You got some reserves in here for Wakona. The timing on that weave yeah. just was not ready to set up. Wakona just completely started to shut down here. So Frontier can cut this lead back even more with a make here. Haneski now looking for some help to Mashawn. Ethan back to Haneski. High post to Walkowitz. Over to Mashawn to Carey. Carey on the baseline. Tries to penetrate. Oh, Wakona team gets through him. Count it and one. Oh, wait a second. Oh, they waved it off. They waved it off. Was that an offensive foul? I believe so. It's the only other way. They didn't post anything. I think he might have stepped on the baseline. I think you're right. Everwine now with it. Everwine, left side to Hubon. Hubon tries to drive. Yep, you betcha. Again, that was Hoffman and Haneski who bottled him up. Good D. They're stopping the weave. And if you can, if you can disturb that weave, that's what they've been running their offense out of all night. That's going to be a big, big thing for Frontier to be able to do that. Haneski now with it. Right side to Hoffman. Hoffman to Carey. Carey bounce pass to Walkowitz. Walkowitz and got one. It. Count it one for Owen Walkowitz. As great muscle on the baseline by Owen. This is a completely different Frontier team in the second quarter. And with a make here, they can cut the lead to four. Again, that lead was as much as 16. Walkowitz makes the three point play. 26 22. Everwine now. They try to hand it off. They try and go through. Jumper on the, the lane is no good. Cuban the rebound. Tries to go back up. Frontier Foul. fans not liking that call. Oh, I don't know. They're going to get Bashan on that one. I don't know. Frontier fans are not happy about that. That's the first on Ian. It's going to be two shots for Huban. Make sure you put on Mashon there. Huban's first foul shot is good. Ben Gallagher into the game for Wakona. Also in, back in Justin Mendez. Leads back up to five. 118 to go in the half. Subban second shot. Make that lead six. 28-22. Haneski now with it. Haneski bounce pass to Hoffman. Back to Haneski. Haneski to Hoffman, left side. Hoffman in the middle of Walkowitz. Back to Hoffman on the baseline. Blocking foul. Blocking foul. Didn't have a sweet set. That's going to be on Quinn Gallagher. And we're going to be shooting two shots. It's the first foul on Gallagher. And this is where foul trouble can really hurt you in these tight games. We're into the double bonus, so it's two shots for Deha. First shot does not go. They'll get one more. Frontier's missed a number of foul shots in this half. Yeah. This, this would be almost a tie game if some of these makes had happened. Off in second goes. Makes one of two. 28-23. Minute to go in the half. Everwine now with it. Everwine. Left side. Three-pointer. Good! Woo! By Quinn Gallagher. 31-23. Kona refusing to give up the lead here. Hoffman now with it. Back to Haneski. Right side to Mashan. Mashan goes cross-court to Hoffman. Hoffman, bounce pass to Haneski. Haneski to Walkowitz. 11 to shoot. Dehoff for three, doesn't go. Rebound Michon, Michon. The rebound comes back out. Shot clock is now off. 23 seconds left in the half. They're going to hold. Haneski. Barshevsky calls the play. 10, Ten left. seconds left, not a lot of time. Haneski to Mashan. Mashawn drives through, running one-hander, partially blocked. They're calling something. What did they get? It's a blocking foul on Wakona. It's going to be on... Wakona's coach was belligerent. Salvini. Second. 
Yeah, the coach did not like that call. So Salvini, his first foul. It's two shots from Michonne with 2.8 seconds left. And he misses the first one. I think Frontier knows they can play with yeah. these guys now. I think that they've got an idea how to defend. It's going to be a very interesting second half. The lead is eight for Wakona. The Sean second one. That does not go. Carey tips it loose. Oh, they Walks got a second. Turn around jumper. Yes! Buzzer beater. At the buzzer by Walkowitz. And that is the way you want to go into the half. A very entertaining first half, and the Frontier Redhawks end it with a big bucket. Second half action upcoming at the end of one. It's Wakona 31, Frontier 25. Second half action upcoming. This is Redhawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by... Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Second half action upcoming. Frontier Redhawks trail them all. Uh, the Wakona Warriors by a count of 31 to 25. Leading all scorers, Kevin Hubon. 18 points in that first half. Seven for Tommy O'Connor. Three for Quinn Gallagher. Two for Luke Hescock and a single foul shot for Zach Bernardo. For the Frontier Redhawks, Peter Carey, seven points, five of them from the free throw line. Five for Donovan Hoffman, five for Colin Boudreau, five for Owen Walkowitz, and three for Sean Richter. The Owen Walkowitz, that field goal at the buzzer, may come back to be very, very important as, in terms of momentum because that really charged up Frontier yeah. going into the locker room. They now know exactly, you know, they can play with these guys. So we'll see what happens in the second half. Frontier's got that inspiration that they needed. What they need now is to trap yeah. these guys in their own end a little bit. Hoffman inbound. Starting five out there for Frontier. Ethan Mashon now with it. Runs left side to Brett Robinson. Back to Ethan. Top of the key. Dehoff with it now. Hoffman. Bounce pass to Mashon. To Robinson, left elbow. Mashon up fakes the three, tries to drive through, pull up jumper off the glass, doesn't go. Oh. Rebound control by Wakona. Outlet pass to who else? Hubon. Scoop shot is good. Wow. And Hubon can play. That kid is a ball player. Mashon up to Carey. P. Carey on the elbow in the middle of Mashon. Ethan now, right side to Hoff. Hoffman to Carey. Carey, turnaround jumper on the baseline. Go! Nice low post play there by Peter Carey. He's got nine points. 33 27. Wakona by six. O'Connor driving through. Did not go! Peter Carey, nice job influencing that shot. Well defended by Peter. Hoffman now with it. Hoffman being bumped by O'Connor. It's a back. Hoffman to Michon. Ethan, cross court to Donovan. Wakona doing a lot less double teaming here. To Bashan now. As Frontier throws it around the perimeter to Walkowitz, top of the key. Owen to Bashan. Seven to shoot. Bashan jump step goes through Hoffman's legs to Robinson. To Walkowitz. You got to shoot it. And it just hits the iron. Rebound controlled by Bashan. Goes up. A lot of contact. He's going on the line for two. As Bashan. Not that rebound went strong to the yeah. hoop, and Hescock just blocked him. That's three. Refusing to give up on the play, Ethan Mashon. That's three on their starting pivot, man. Mashon. First shot does not go. These free throws. Not going to harp on it too much, but this may be something that we talk about in the postgame show if they can't make more of these threes. 
Mashan's second shot is good. So Ethan makes one of two. The lead is five. Up ahead to Hubon. Hubon spins away. Over to Uberwine. To O'Connor, top of the key. O'Connor goes right side to Salvini. They're working the weave again. Everwine, hook shot, wild hook shot. Oh, way off. Who's got it? Should be Frontier Basketball. Yeah. Although uh, Kona says it should be their ball. Oh, I thought it was off. No, no. I thought he said, oh, okay, so it's Wakona Basketball. Everwine to throw it in. Goes it out to Hubon. Left side. Driving through, Salvini. Cross court to O'Connor. O'Connor being guarded by Hoffman. Six to shoot. Hubon. Jump shot, wild one off the backboard, no good. Frontier with a chance to cut the lead even more. Hoffman now with it. Hoffman to Michon. Michon, top of the key. Bounce pass to Carey. Carey to Walkowitz on the elbow. Back to Michon, top of the key. Robinson for three, doesn't go. Carey battling for the rebound. Walkowitz goes up yes. strong. Cuts it to three. The lead is three. O'Connor with it. 5.34 to go in the third. O'Connor will take a deep three. He's got it. Oh, wow. Way outside. He's got 10 points. 36-30. Bashan threads the needle. Goes up strong. Offensive foul. At that time, yeah. he had the lane blocked well. Yep. That's two on Owen. Or on Ethan, rather. 36-30, and Wakona will inbound it. O'Connor now runs it up for Wakona. In the middle to Salvini. Salvini right side to Huban. In the corner it goes. Some nice defense here by Frontier. Huban tried to drive through. It's going to be a foul on Frontier. Let's see who they get. It's That's going to be on Michonne. That's three on him. He's got to be careful now. Nobody getting off the bench quite yet. They lob it out. Salvini. In the corner it goes. Ebelwine. Deep three. No good. Carry the rebound. Took it right away from Hescock. Yeah. Outlet pass to Michonne. Ethan now. To carry in a high post. Carry right side to Michonne. Michonne to Peter. Back to Michonne. Michonne for three. Oh, wow. Silky smooth release on that one. 36-33. It's back down to a three-point lead. Upside to Hescock. Again, they work the weave. Hubon, pull up jumper in the lane. Bank it. And he can play. 22 points for Hubon in this game. Leads back up to five. Mashon. Mashon to Hoffman. Back over to Ethan. Ethan, cross court to Hoffman. Hoffman, Walkowitz into Carey. Carey, turnaround jumper in the blink. Good! Nice post spin there by Peter Carey. Again, 38-35, the lead is three. O'Connor drives the right side. Turnaround fake. Back out to Edelwine. Salvini for three. Oh, all net. Whew. Can these guys shoot or what? 41-35. Kona have been barely being able to save off Frontier here. Michonne to Robinson. To Dehoff. Hoffman on the baseline. Rejected. Rejected by Hescock. Clean block. Walkowitz out. Boudreau back in. Richter back in. Spirance back in. Robinson and Michonne sit. We've got some refreshed Frontier players here. Well, this is that bench depth we've been talking about. Very, very important. Spirance to throw in. He throws it into the yeah. throw through the guy's legs. <laughs> no, nice. Oh, nice. oh Peter Carey! <laughs> what a play! 41-37. O'Connor now. Cross court. Hubon now being guarded by Spirits. Four-point game. Travel. It's the break frontier needed. He tried to work the weave himself, and he took an extra step. So the Hawks, 3-10 to go in the third. The lead is four. Ian Spirance calls the play. Ben Barashevsky stomping on the floor. 
pass is tipped. Stolen there. O'Connor now with it. O'Connor. And he travels. Travel. Wow, surprising. That's been a killer here for Wakona is the travels. Good break here. Frontier's got to start taking advantage of some of these breaks they're being yeah. handed, including foul shots. Spear into Hoffman. Bring it up. Within striking range here, though. Experience. Jump step to Boudreaux on the elbow. Boudreaux feeds Carey. Carey got fouled in the paint. Yeah, Peter Carey sees that size mismatch he's got. It's the non shooting foul. They'll, re they'll inbound under the basket. That's going to be on Gallagher, his second. Experience inbounds to Hoffman. See him off. off. Lobs it back out to Spearance. Spearance spins Sean away from Hebon. Off of Hoffman's foot, and Hoffman foul. hooked him on the way down the floor on Hubon. Hubon wanted a flagrant foul on that one. Yeah. He's not going to win that argument. Haneski in, Spearance out. It's two fouls on Donovan. 2.31 to go in the third quarter. Wakona to inbound. O'Connor, not going to throw it in. He does to Gallagher. Gallagher, left side to Salvini, back to O'Connor. Hey, travel! travel. <laughs> Again, great defense by Richter. If it's been one killer for O'Connor, it's been the travels. Well, there's been like four or five travels in this quarter. It's unusual in any form of basketball, especially at this level. Haneski now with it. Left side to Hoffman. Hoffman drives, stops, kicks it back out. Richter for three. Oh, it's oh, foul! That would have been a huge shot. Rebound control by Eberwine. Up ahead to Hubon. Hubon goes oh, up. rejected. Seven blocks, my count. What do you have, seven or six? Well, I got seven. Seven blocks for Peter Carey in this game. That one was with authority. Sent Salvini a message with that one. O'Connor to Hubon. Hubon spots up for three. Got it. Yikes. Did you think it was going to miss? 44-37. Seven-point lead. Hoffman. Feeds Boudreau on the baseline. Block, no shot. On the baseline. That's going to be on Bernardo. It was before the shot, non-shooting. Haneski to throw first. it in. Gets it into Hoffman. Hoffman's going to take that three. He misses. Deep Fight rebound. for the rebound. Carey got it. Carey now. Cross court to Richter. Haneski to Hoffman. Hoffman. Cross court to Richter. Richter on the elbow. 14 to shoot. Carey in the paint. Carey loses control. Ran Triple into a team. blue wall there, but stolen by Sean. Richter with it. Richter. And he got fouled on yeah. the way through. So lots of contact. Lots of, of strong defense by Frontier in this quarter. He inbound it. Back out to Hoffman. Hoffman to Carey. Carey to Richter. Club jumper does not go. And Tears just struggled with their shooting tonight. O'Connor the rebound. Ahead to Hubon. Hubon drives the baseline, kicks it back to O'Connor on the elbow. O'Connor working a weave again with Gallagher. Now Hubon. Back to O'Connor. O'Connor spots up for three. Got it. Not much you can do when they can shoot like no. that. And the lead's back up to 10. 50 seconds left in the half, of the quarter, rather. Haneski with it. Left side to Richter. Richter drives through, hook shot. Front of the iron, no good. Richter going for the Fight rebound. For it. Mm. One by Wakona. O'Connor ahead to Hubon. Hubon, foul, on, foul the there. on the way up by Hoffman. That's going to be three on him. It's going to be two shots for Hubon with 33 seconds left. In the third, they're going to conver converse now here. So it was a flagrant, I believe. Two shots. All right. I think they were trying to figure out that if he had, was trying to shoot. Yeah. Or if it was on the floor, they're going to say he was trying to shoot. So either way, it's three on Donovan. Hubon's first one is good. Gives him 26. Pretty amazing. Yeah. Him and O'Connor have been the starter for O'Connor. Second one doesn't go. Carey gets the rebound. Outlet to Haneski. 
Oneski with it now. Shot clock and game clock about a minute, about a second. Different. Oneski, the Richter. Richter is going to take a Huge three. three. There you go. Got it. 48-40. 11 seconds left. Shot clock is off. O'Connor. It's Bernardo with it. Left side to O'Connor. O'Connor running one-hander on the baseline. No good. Carey throws it up and does not make it. And that ends the third quarter. We played three from Goodno Gymnasium. And Wakona leads Frontier 48-40. Fourth quarter action upcoming. Red Hawk basketball and Frontier Community Access Television. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by... Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webb's, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Chris Collins and Zach Lino out here at Goodell Gymnasium. Still anybody's game. Wakona with an eight-point lead. They outscored Frontier only 17-15 to 15 in that third quarter. So Frontier made a few more foul shots. And a few more field goals, they'd be probably close to tied. So this is anybody's game going into the fourth frame. Wakona to inbound in front of us. Eberwine throws it in to Cubon. Cubon's been incredible tonight yeah. with his scoring. He pulls up in the lane, and that one goes. Two can more. shoot from anywhere. 50 to 40. Wakona by 10. Aneski, right side to Richter. Richter goes around O'Connor to Walkowitz. Walkowitz to Carey. Carey to Hoffman. Hoffman off the glass. A lot of contact. A lot of contact is right, but two points. O'Connor with it now for Wakona. In the corner. Salvini over to O'Connor on the elbow. O'Connor fakes for someone to throw to. Finds Hubon. Hoffman. Hubon fell down. O'Connor back up. O'Connor, travel. Travel, yep. Again, faced up nicely by Richter and Haneski. Yeah. Seven minutes to go. Haneski with it now. Haneski now. To Hoffman. Hoffman down low. Carey goes up strong. Blocking foul number four on Hescock. Going to be two shots for Peter Carey. Hescock had no choice. Yeah. That, otherwise, that was going to be a thunderous dunk. Carey gets two shots. First one. Does not show. <laughs> Can't miss free throws in a close fourth quarter. Well, this has been the story of this game, I think, on the negative side for Frontier. They've done a lot of good yeah. things, but one thing they haven't done well is shoot foul shots. He makes one of two. 50-43, less than seven to go. Salvini, now they're working the weave again to O'Connor. O'Connor runs left side, pulls it back. Back to Hubon for three, does not go. Carry the rebound, outlet to Haneski. A rare miss from Hubon. Yeah. Left side, O'Connor knocks it out of bounds, still frontier ball. Frontier's got a good chance to come to this deficit just a little bit more. Timeout on the floor will take the break. 6.30 to go on this one. It's Wakona 50, Frontier 43. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Frontier Red Hawks will have the ball with 20 seconds on the shot clock. They'll inbound in front of their own bench. Donovan Hoffman to throw it in. Right now the pivot man for Wakona Hescock playing with four fouls. They throw it into Richter to Haneski. 
Maneski, right side to Hoffman. Hoffman goes cross court. And they try to throw it left side, out of bounds, to Walkowitz. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Owen to throw it in to Ineski. Carey breaks for the basket, gets the ball on the left elbow. Down low to Walkowitz. Walkowitz, turn on, hook shot, go! There you go, that's a tough shot. Owen Walkowitz with a big bucket, 50 to 45. And the Wakona lead is five. Frontier six man getting into it. O'Connor gets a lane to the basket, running one-handed, no good, blocking foul on Peter Carey. That's a tough break there for Frontier. It's going to be two shots for O'Connor, 15 foul for Frontier. It's two on Peter. O'Connor's first shots does not go. There you go. Back into the game, Quinn Gallagher for Wakona, and sitting out with the four fouls is Hescock. O'Connor's second one. Does not go. He misses them both. Carry the rebound to Aneski. Those are two big misses right there. Yeah. Huge break here for Frontier. They got to capitalize. Aneski with it. Aneski right side. Cross court to Hoffman. Hoffman drives through on rolls oh. in and got fouled on the way through. Two huge opportunities here for Frontier with some free throws. Two shots for Donovan Hoffman. That's three fouls on O'Connor. 5.42 to go in the game. Two very big free throws here for Donovan Hoffman. First shots. Does not go. Tough break. He'll get one more. There's still time left, though. Second one. Does not go. Misses them both. Ball batted around out of bounds. And it's Wakona basketball. So as big as the two misses were for yeah. O'Connor, just as big. That would have gotten them to three. O'Connor now bringing it up for the Warriors. In the middle to Hubon. Hubon hands it off to Salvini. Back to O'Connor. O'Connor. With it again. O'Connor through the lane. Front of the iron. No good. Hubon the rebound. Consumed there by Richter. Richter again a great play. To Hoffman. And a foul. Richter not um, happy with that call. Richter ran into Salvini. That's a tough break. Yeah, that's a They were off, call off to the races there. It's the first foul on Richter, so. But it did blunt that momentum. Edward wanted to throw it in. It's a Hubot. Right side it goes to Salvini. Down low to Hescock back into the game. Takes it back to O'Connor. O'Connor running one hand on the baseline is good. And he is starting to take over in this second half. He's got 15 points, eight in this half. Hoffman now with it. In the corner to Walkowitz. Bullet pass to Carey, stolen by Hubon. And Hubon gets fouled by Walkowitz. That's gonna be four on Owen. Yeah. Excuse me, on uh, four on Hoffman. Sorry, that was on Donovan. It's a seven team foul. And it's going to be two shots for Hubon. So time's starting to run out for Frontier. They're yeah. down by seven. Hubon's first one goes. Kona starting to put it out of reach here. Walkowitz out. Boudreau in. Mashan out. Hoffman. Mashan in. Hoffman out, rather. Cuban's second shot upcoming. And that one's good. And this kid has been the story here tonight for He Wakona. absolutely has. 54 45 at the nine point lead for Wakona. Haneski now with it. Jake to Mashawn. Mashawn over the oh. head of Richter. Not good. That is heart wrenching there for Frontier. A huge turnover. Well, you can't be making mistakes like that if you want to come back against this team. A couple more trips down the floor, and this could be all she wrote. Yep. 
O'Connor now bringing it up for Wakona, very deliberately. Huge possession here. In the corner it goes, turnaround jumper to O'Connor is no good, carry the rebound. Outlet to Richter, fast break frontier. Richter pulls it back to Mashan. Mashan goes back to Richter. Richter fakes the three, kicks it back to Carey. Carey goes strong and gets fouled. Foul hard. And we'll see who they got here. It's either O'Connor or Salvini. It's Salvini, three on him. So with 4.01 to go, two big foul shots for Peter Carey. First one goes. That cuts the lead to eight. Chance to make it seven. Frontier just close enough here. This is the first, second one rather. Rebound control by Wakona. O'Connor with it. O'Connor to Everwan. To Hubon. To O'Connor off the weave. O'Connor dishes back inside to Hescock. Back to O'Connor on the elbow. 14 to shoot. O'Connor runs it right side. Hands it off to Ebelwine. Hubon Fall hits down. the floor. And a fire up at the buzzer. No good. Rebound. Out of bounds. Yep. Frontier basketball. Went off of Hescock. This is what Frontier needs. A good defensive stop. It's a good stop, but they took 30 seconds off the clock. And yeah. this is time they cannot afford to lose. Haneski out. Hoffman back in. They got to go quick here. Time is of the essence. Mashan brings it up. Right side to Carey on the elbow. Oh, Carey. Jumper from the corner oh. is good. And he for, can pull. For two. 54-48. Wakona by six. Three minutes to go. O'Connor right side to Salvini. In the middle to Eberwine. Eberwine to O'Connor at the circle. O'Connor. Hescock bounces it down low. Huban now. Huban spinning away. Hescock on the baseline, hits it. All by himself. Yep, nobody was there. 56-48. The lead remains eight. 2.38 to go in the game. Hoffman right side to Carey. Carey on the elbow, back to Hoffman. Over to Mashan. Back to Dehoff. And on the baseline, Carey. Rejected there. Great play there by Everwine. Hubon for three. No. Colin Boudreau the rebound. 2.15 to go. They sky it ahead. Knock loose. Stolen. That's going to be all she wrote. O'Connor's going to slow it down. O'Connor walks it. Walks it to the elbow. And goes up strong. Misses. Put back. Hits the side of the backboard. Rebound loose. They can't put the nail in the coffin here. Hoffman now with it. Brings it up. Hoffman to Mashan. Mashan for three. In front of the iron, no good. And a foul, and Donovan yeah. Hoffman is out of this game. That's going to be five for him. He is done. Looks like nobody's noticed here. Donovan knows it. Technical foul on O'Connor. Oh, wow. They teed up O'Connor for arguing with the ref. So it's going to be Hoffman's out of the game. Well, technical foul technical. is two shots on the ball. Whew. You can't do that with a minute 43 in an and, eight point game. And it's four fouls on O'Connor, I'm pretty sure. So a wild turn of events here. <clears throat> They're going to confer. So who do they tee up, though? The they tee up Hoffman? Oh, yeah, maybe. So it's two. Sh it's a technical foul. I thought it was an O'Connor. Yeah, it is. Wow. It's two shots in the ball for Wakona. Yeah, that's going to be it. It must have been something Hoffman said. I mean, he was exiting towards the bench. I don't think he had a few words. So two shots at the ball. That's a 10-point lead with 143. That's going to be very difficult 
to come back from. Hoffman's one of their top three-point threats. He's out of the game. Now, now they got technicals on either side, it looks like. Oh, wow. This is getting crazy. So it looks like they teed up. O I thought they teed up O'Connor. They must have teed up Donovan or somebody on the frontier side. So now it's two shots in the ball for Richter. So a crazy. <laughs> I think it was double technical. It looks like it. It's four fouls on O'Connor, yep. so he definitely got teed up. One for Richter. He'll get one more. And he makes them both. They sent the right guy to the line, so now the ball is going to be Frontiers when we come back. 1.43 to go in the game. It's Wakona 58, Frontier 50. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Should be a wild finish for this one. It's still an eight-point lead, so it's a three-possession game for Wakona. Frontier, after a technical foul, both time teams got hit with technicals. Yeah. Frontier gets two shots on the ball. Richter will throw it in. I think you go for a quick three here if you can. Maybe call a timeout. That's what I was thinking. Very quick possession. Mashawn has it in the backcourt. Can't take a lot of time off this clock. Though. No, only a minute 40. Kicks it back out to Richter for three. Air ball. Uh, that's the play you wanted. O'Connor but... the rebound. Got to foul him. They aren't going to. Hescock up ahead. And they got Carey, who got the foul in just before the pass. So, good basketball IQ play there. It's going to be a one and one for Hescock. Luke Hescock playing with four fouls. First part of the one and one is no good. Rick to the rebound. And the 25. Now to Mashon to Carey. Carey. And they tried to feed the baseline and yeah, stolen back. That didn't quite work. No. O'Connor now with it. O'Connor's going to hang on to it. Somebody better go up and foul him. Carey fouls Hescock again. It's going to be four on Peter. And then six left in the fourth. Hescock will go to the line. For two shots, he's winning the double bonus here. And if he just makes one of these, I mean... Frontier's chance becomes essentially zero. First one is good. Hescock's second one does not go. Carry the rebound to Mashan. Mashan go for a three. Mashan pulls it back. Mashan to Carry. Carry jumper blocked. is blocked. How often do you see that? Right side, Mashawn. Mashawn for three. Good! Hold on. We still got a ball game here. Timeout on the floor. The lead is six, so it's a two-possession game. We'll take the break. Frontier, 46 seconds left. They trail by six, 59-53. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Chris Collins and Zach Lino out here. Final 43 seconds, 46 seconds to be exact, 46.9 seconds. Ethan Mishan just nailed the three. Wakona will get the ball, throw it in. It's a six point lead, so it's a two possession game. Assuming Wakona doesn't score. Frontier could use a steal here. They're running out of a stack. O'Connor now with it. They bounce it ahead. And they foul quickly as Aiden Treasure just into the game, gets fouled. He will go to the line for a couple of foul shots here. There's two shots in the double bonus. Treasure's first shot is good. He'll get one more. Back into the game. Right into the game for the first time is Gabe Gachinski. He's a three-point threat. Yep. Second shot. Spins in. 
He will check Spencer's out. Spencer's in a very difficult situation here. Seven point lead. 42.6 seconds left. They roll it up. Mashawn now with it. Mashawn drives through. Gets blocked. blocked on the way up by Huben. He can play defense too, apparently. <laughs> it's an eight point lead. 61 53. Mashawn to throw it in. Five second uh. violation. Well defended by Wakona. Yeah. Give him credit. Back in is Traeger. So offense for defense. Hescock back out. Wakona will run out of a stack. They throw it in. Quick foul. As Hubon gets fouled by Mashan. And Mashan, or Hubon will get two shots here. Probably not the best choice, but with very little time, he's just got a foul. Hubon, 30 points in this game. It's four fouls on Ethan. And a chance to hit two and make it 32. First one is good. <laughs> Carry back in, Boudreaux out. So you've got three legit, four legitimate three-point threats on the floor right now for Frontier. Second shot doesn't go. Carry the rebound. Outlet to Michonne. Ahead to Robinson. Back to Michonne. To Carey. Loses control. Gets it back. Knock oh. loose. Hubon to make it an even 34. There's the nail in the coffin. That, that's good night. The lead is 11. Robinson travel up and down mm. on that one. Yep. Yeah, and have liftoff. It's not going to happen for Frontier, but wow, what a game. And they're just going to dribble it out. Shot I get Frontier props here, though, being able to hang with Lakota for so long. Yeah, it's a good good basketball team. You're going to see them again in the postseason, whatever division they wind up in. That's going to be a foul on Robinson, who bumped him. Three on Robinson. So Hubon, with two makes here, <laughs> at 36 <laughs> points. More than half of his team's points. First one does not go. The man's human, apparently. <laughs> he can make a mistake. He's not a cyborg. Second shot is good. He makes one of two. 65-53. Mashan will bring it up. Eight seconds left. Mashan to over. He'll take a three. He'll miss it. Oh, oh. And that will be the game. The final score from Goodno Gymnasium, the Wakona Warriors, 65, the Frontier Redhawks, 53. Frontier goes to 7-3 on the season. Wakona goes to 8-1 on the season. And it's an incredible game. I mean, it was, yeah. it was nip and tuck near the end, but that's a very, very good basketball team that Frontier played tonight, and they end up losing, and, in a, and as you said, I think you gotta give them props for the way they hung in there. They could very easily, after that 13 to one first quarter, tuck tail and said, that's that, we're not gonna have any chance here. But they stayed in it yeah, and played really well, I thought. I thought they did great, holding their own, especially in that huge second quarter comeback they had. But yeah, uh, it ultimately was, wasn't enough to go over the hump. It wasn't enough, and it's an independent loss, but still very much Frontier uh, in the in position for a deep run into the postseason potentially again this year. Last year's ended up on the, the cage floor. Uh, they would love to go back there again yeah. next year. I think that's in large part due to their nice depth that they have as well. Let's recap the scoring real quickly here. The Frontier Red Hawks uh, leading scorer was Peter Carey, and as you mentioned, Zach Lino, a double double for Peter yes. Carey. Uh, run down his numbers for us. 17 points, 18 rebounds, and seven blocks. Seven blocks. And really, in the first half of basketball, his blocks yeah. were really the, the high point for Frontier. They weren't making a lot of their shots. They weren't making a lot of their free throws. But Peter Carey came in and made some solid blocks. Yeah. I also think Owen Walkowitz did a great job in the middle. Uh, also coming off the bench, Colin Boudreau ended up with five points. He had some strong minutes. And Sean Richter is always one of the toughest 
sixth man in the, in the league comes up with an eight point game. Donovan Hoffman finished with seven points, though he fouled out. Ethan Michon finished with seven points. I think if there was a, a downside to Frontier's game, it was the foul shooting. They just did not make enough foul shots. If they made more of their foul shots in both those halves, I think this game is a much closer game, maybe even a win for Frontier. Yeah. They also just failed on a lot of those opportunities they were given after the travels or the just the countless turnovers with Kona had. The one great thing, though, I think we can point to is Frontier's ball movement was solid. And after they gave up a 13 to 1 first quarter, they came back in that second quarter. And the big play in the end of the second quarter was that turnaround jumper by Owen Walkowitz at the buzzer yeah. that sent Frontier into the locker room with the momentum. And they came out strong in the third quarter, but it was just too much of the Wakona Warriors led by Kevin Hubon with an amazing 35 points and 17 for Tommy O'Connor, who ran the offense very, very well for a very solid Wakona team who is going to be in the mix for a Western Mass Championship in their division coming up in the postseason. That'll do it for our broadcast here from Goodno Gymnasium. Final score again, the Wakona Warriors 65, the Frontier Redhawks 53. For my broadcast partner, Zach Lito, also for Alec Echo, Josh Levine, Megan Self, and the executive producer of Frontier Regional Sports, Kevin Murphy, and Chris Collins. The final score for the final time, Wakona 65, Frontier 53. Thanks for watching Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television.